When my friends who have never read a manhwa before ask me what I recommend they should read, I have a bit of trouble answering. My personal favorite webtoon universe is the Park Tejin comic universe, encompassing all of the works Park Tejin has made that interconnect and weave into each other's plots through cameos and references. I could recommend Lookism, but the cruder early 2014 art style in the first few chapters, as well as its length, may possibly turn them off reading what I consider a masterpiece in the making. I could recommend Manager Kim, one of the shorter, ongoing Park Tejin comics, but reading it will not be as satisfying as they won't understand the various references and cameos. So, what I usually recommend is shorter, a masterpiece in the making, and doesn't contain too many references and cameos, as it is an early addition to the Park Tejin comic universe. That manhwa being How to Fight, also known as Viral Hit. Viral Hit began publication in 2019, written by Park Tae Jun and illustrated by Kim Jong Hyun. It follows the story of the protagonist, Ho Bin Yu, a scrawny, bullied teenager whose bullying is live streamed on YouTube, the manhwa's version of YouTube. The webtoon follows Ho Bin and his adventures with his newly created YouTube account, Viral Hit, a bully call out channel, in an attempt to earn money to support his sick mother. Mystery strikes when Ho Bin, researching online to learn how to fight, stumbles across a new tube channel with zero subscribers and plenty of videos. Greeted by a uniform wearing chicken, Hobin would come to learn valuable, secret and unorthodox tricks and techniques on how to fight. The first lesson being how to get hit painlessly. This gives Park Tae Jun an interesting plot loop for him to write about. Hobin having to fight more and more people that he calls out each with an increasingly higher difficulty in fighting power, which results in him watching the secret chicken YouTube channel to learn the next greatest technique to defeat his opponent. The plot does develop even more, Hobin gaining many friends and enemies, as well as many love lines. There are many things that make Viral Hit a must read, only a few of them I will be discussing in this video. The first I will be discussing is martial arts and Pak Tae Jun's depth of knowledge of it. I already discussed in my lookism video that Pak Tae Jun weaves in martial arts in his stories, using martial arts narratively to describe a character's ability. Similar to how Hunter x Hunter uses Nen, Naruto uses Chakra, and One Piece uses Devil Fruits, each fighter in Viral Hit has a fighting style. Through this narrative use of martial arts, Pak Tae Jun allows himself to show his clear appreciation and knowledge of many martial arts, and allows himself to creatively use them in his fights and plot points. Taehun Song is a great example of martial arts being utilized in Viral Hit. Originally being a photo hoban, Taehun's fighting style is Taekwondo, a Korean martial art that has a heavy emphasis on kicking. Taehun is introduced as a hot-headed bully, quickly losing his temper, which results in violence. Through his character, Pak Tae Jun explores many facets of Taekwondo and uses them in the plot. The plot already addresses the obvious, that Olympic style Taekwondo is not practical in a fight, but however, states that Taekwondo for actual fights is different, separating the two as one for scoring points in a set time and the other being the means to take down your opponent. In Taehyun's introduction, UFC fighters are used as examples, Anderson Silva and Conor McGregor, both illustrated and used as examples of deadly world-class fighters that incorporate Taekwondo in their toolset. This proves at the very least a base level of knowledge of Taekwondo and mixed martial arts, as both Silva and McGregor are stand-up strikers that actually do incorporate Taekwondo in their toolset. As the plot progresses and Taehun needs to adapt his toolset to match the tougher opponents he may face, he learns ITF-style Taekwondo, as opposed to the WT Taekwondo he had been doing thus far. It is explained that WT Taekwondo was taught to Taehun due to his aspirations of becoming a professional athlete for Korea. However, if his MMA aspirations and current goals were known, ITF Taekwondo would have been taught to him by his father instead. 
ITF Taekwondo is commonly dubbed North Korean Taekwondo. Punches are allowed, sparring isn't a thing, as the only aim with ITF Taekwondo is to kill your opponent. Fancy moves and form are forgotten. What is left is a military martial art with the sole goal to kill. This is one of the ways Park Tae Jun's knowledge of martial arts is used to create memorable and badass moments of viral hit. Tae Hun Song, just one of the characters whom he gets to show this level of knowledge for. Park Tae Jun's knowledge being utilized in fights is the more creative and interesting application of martial arts, and can be seen in every fight and viral hit. The narrator commenting on the toolset of each fighting style and why they work well or not against the opponents. This can be seen in the fight between Manji Huang and Wang Khan. Manji is a serum wrestler, serum being a traditional Korean wrestling fighting style, whereas Wang Guk is a boxer. As a wrestler, Manji's game plan is clear. Grab Wang Guk and use all the wrestling moves in his toolset to end the fight. This is where Wang Guk's boxing proves to be a challenge to Manji. The narrator describes why. Wang Guk using the one basic technique in boxing that will always stand out, that nobody can avoid, whether they're kids who don't know how to fight or UFC champions. The jab. Utilizing his jab, Wang Guk keeps Manji from grabbing him, not allowing him to actually wrestle. Due to this, it turned into a battle of punches. The narrator stating that Manji's punches, however, were fundamentally different. Despite being a professional combat sports athlete, his punches were not better than a random on the street. This is because novices usually telegraph their punches by pulling their arm behind them when throwing a punch, alerting their opponent that they are about to throw. The narrator further compares the two by stating that boxers are more efficient with their punches, not wasting their energy with unnecessary movements, trained to not even close their eyes when they get punched. The result of this training making Manji's punches no different to a punch from a kindergartner. Despite the weight difference, Manji Huang lost the fight with a big left hook to the face. This fight is just one of the examples of Park Tae Jun's use of martial arts and viral hit, using the fundamentals and tool sets of each fighting style to give realistic reason as to why one character wins over the other. Through the detailed narration, paired with Kim Jong Hyun's very easy to understand but good looking illustrations, viral his fights are very satisfying to read. This leads me very nicely to my next point about how Park Tae Jun writes resolutions to conflict. In a narrative, the hero often meets a conflict or conflicts, which requires a resolution. This is done with varying degrees of satisfaction, creativity, and interestingness. For example, many Dragon Ball critics critique the show for being a power fantasy, many of the conflicts being resolved by Goku screaming and unlocking a new form. And whilst I disagree, as the Dragon Ball series is one of my favorites, I can understand a lot of the sentiment with those critiques. When Goku is met with an unstoppable opponent, the hard work and training usually culminates in him finally unleashing his potential onto his opponent through a new transformation. With the first Super Saiyan, it was new and epic, as Vegeta foreshadowed it earlier in the show. But as more and more transformations happened, it became less and less meaningful. The fights in Dragon Ball are also usually not as heavily explained, mainly consisting of beam struggles and extremely fast hand-to-hand -hand combat. In comparison, viral hits training arcs and resolutions to conflict are more creative and in my opinion, more interesting to read. The Chicken YouTube channel is the destination for Hoban to train and learn techniques, the equivalent to Goku entering the hyperbolic time chamber. In these videos, the Chicken instructor, named Samdok, teaches his viewers how to fight, although through very unorthodox, creative, and hilarious ways. After Manji's defeat to Wanguk, we are shown what Hoban did in preparation to fight. Due to Wang Guk's amateur record of 58 and 0 with an impressive 44 knockouts and his weight class taken into account, it was determined that Wang Guk is likely to be a slugger and guaranteed to be an infighter. This was also reaffirmed by Hoban through Wang Guk's knockout left hook against Manji. After establishing this, Hoban then watches Sam Duck's video on how to fight against a boxer. Sam Duck describes infighters as those who put unrelenting pressure and drive their opponents in a corner having power to their punches, citing Mike Tyson and George Foreman as examples. The ultimate solution to fighting an inboxer? Walking on all fours. Dubbed the Bear Crawl, it is a full body workout that improves your core, cardio, and athleticism. This exercise will help Hoban make his punches more powerful, 
On top of that, the bear crawl is also the fighting stance Hoban takes when fighting the inboxer. Relating it to wrestling, Sam Duck describes infighters as not knowing how to defend themselves from being tackled, as well as never being taught how to punch at the floor. The bear crawl being the perfect way to win against an infighter. This intricate way of describing Hoban's technique, the research involved, the training done, all culminating in an easy victory for Hoban is one of the interesting and fun to read ways Pak Tae-jun writes his training arcs and fights as resolutions to conflict. However, what will Hoban do when his bear stance tackle is dodged, Wang Guk punching him at the floor as a counter, and finally revealing that despite his high knockout rate, weight, and power in his punches, they were mistaken. Wang Guk is an outboxer. This is where Park Tae-jun truly thrives in his writing. His creative counters to common martial arts and their techniques, through gimmicky, hilarious, unorthodox, but well-explained counter moves taught by Samduk's videos, are true testaments towards his knowledge of martial arts and how he can narratively weave them into the story of Viral Hit. The next reason as to why I love Viral Hit is a brief one, but I feel still needs to be touched upon. Similar to Lookism, the love lines within Viral Hit are actually very cute and satisfying. Viral Hit actually expanding upon the love between the main love line more than Lookism, despite its shorter episode count. Hoban has three love interests, all with their own second male lead love interests for themselves. Hoban's main love line is with Bomi, his co-worker at McDonald's, whom since the beginning of the story, when Bowman was at his pinnacle of loserdom, still showed kindness and care to Bowman. Their story is very cliche, but cute. The situations the two of them get into as a two-sided crush friendship is sure to get you entertained if you are into that sort of thing. The backstory that is given to Bomi is also very well written and made me root for her as Hoban's endgame a little bit more. His other love interests, Gal and Rumi, are one-sided crushes that Bowman doesn't seem to notice. Although I like Bomi and Gal, both having very cute and wholesome interactions with Hoban, Gal often having her heart fluttered by Hoban through unintentional gestures, I still like Rumi the most. Maybe it's my second lead syndrome, or me liking the enemies to lovers trope too much, or the way she falls for Hoban being so damn wholesome. Rumi was always my pick. In that same breath, however, Rumi's other love line, wink wink nudge nudge, may even top her one with Hoban. There really isn't much I can say about the love lines without ruining a lot of the fun that comes with reading the actual webtoon itself. But I can attest that the romance and viral hit is more than serviceable, but is actually very enjoyable to read. I feel like I would be doing a disservice if for the next section, I didn't acknowledge how good Kim jong Hyun's illustrations are. His illustrations truly make viral hit not only a pleaser to the eyes, but a joy to read. The characters are drawn in great detail, never really dropping in quality. Many of the characters are drawn quite attractively, both male and female. Kim jong Hyun's ability to draw good-looking faces, hair, and all-around character designs helps Viral Hit become an even more enjoyable read. The coward characters look like cowards. The old men are drawn with their history written all over their faces. All the character designs serve as the means of the plot and message of the story Park Tae-jun is trying to tell. Kim jong Hyun is also very talented at drawing facial expressions, the emotions of the characters being very clear and animated. Fear, Anger, sadness, and dangerous are all drawn very well on the characters' faces, allowing for emotion in the webtoon to be truly felt. Most importantly, Kim jong Hyun is very talented at drawing motion. The swing of a punch, a grab. When drawing action, Kim jong Hyun draws velocity in all of the movements of the fight, directing the readers through it. This helps the readers understand what is happening in the fight. How fast are the characters moving? How hard are they hitting? These questions are answered through Kim jong Hyun's meticulous illustrations and a clear understanding of how to draw a fight. The last point I would like to talk about that I feel is kind of hard to describe about Viral Hit that makes it a must read is heart. Viral Hit has a lot of heart. Each character has clear goals and motivations for why they do the things they do and who they do it for. Even though Hoban is a weak, scrawny, fearful child, he fights and puts his body on the line for his viewers to pay for his mother's hospital bills. On the outside, people may assume Hobin is a money-hungry, greedy individual. 
his YouTube viewers echoing the sentiment. The live chat, often filled with comments of Hoban loving money too much, doing whatever he can to get it. But in reality, it's his entire life of poverty that has conditioned his idealization of money to reach the point it has. Despite all of that, however, Hoban still maintains his morals, not willing to step on others or fake his YouTube videos to make money. This, you can't judge a book by its cover, as well as subversions of expectations are seen throughout almost all of the characters in Viral Hit. Why does this girl seemingly like this boy for no reason? Damn, this rich girl is always flexing her designer clothes. She must be living her best life. Why is this bully so fixated on 501? Questions like these and more are answered in Viral Hit, with the same level or more of heart shown with Hoban, making for a story of characters who are multifaceted and have ambitions and incentives that we, as the audience, relate to. Thank you for watching. If you are already a fan of Lookism, then Viral Hit is most definitely a good read. Many references are in both manhwas, referencing each other, so it is definitely worthwhile to read either Lookism or Viral Hit if you've already read one of them. My next video will either be about the Lookism anime, if it releases soon, or a video about something else I'm interested in not necessarily related to Park Tae comics or webtoons. With this channel, I really just want to make quality videos about things I enjoy, and not just make videos on one thing. In that same breath though, I am a big fan of Park Tae comics and lookism, so expect more videos on that in the future. Read the pinned comment for an explanation of why this video took so long to come out, and please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. My goal is to reach 1000 subscribers by Christmas. I thank every single one of you who watches the videos, and the 300 people subscribed to my channel. Truly, thank you. Anyways, I am Logan L, and I still have no closer. Bye-bye.